This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. I'm Roby Brock. Welcome to today's Talk Business and Politics Daily. Here are your top stories of the day. Four-year colleges in Arkansas saw an average 5.4% rise in tuition in 2016 to 2017, and two-year colleges saw a 3.6% rise. It's according to the annual financial condition report from the Arkansas Department of Higher Education. The department pointed to a lack of upward movement in state funding over the years in addition to rising costs in technology, employee benefits, and campus security. Read more at talkbusiness.net. Tyson Foods rolled out a new leadership team to complement its new CEO, Tom Hayes. Ten people were given titles under the new leadership group. Tyson said the restructure will increase focus on consumers, customers, technology, and sustainability. Three notable departures will occur over a period of time, including current executives Donnie King, Sarah Lilligren, and Gary Cooper. Plans for renovations at Bill and Hillary Clinton National Airport in Little Rock now include adding Chick-fil-A and Chili's, the airport announced on Tuesday. The airport expects the restaurants to open during the first quarter of 2018. There will also be some additional remodels of current restaurants, Starbucks, Burger King, and Great American Bagel. And you can keep up with headlines like these each and every day at our website at talkbusiness.net. Still to come, Sherman Tate, one of the most recent inductees in the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame. Plus, we'll go inside the numbers for a look at the progress made during the last 100 years for women in Arkansas politics. Is it enough progress? We'll find out. Arkansas Electric Cooperative Corporation provides electric energy across two-thirds of Arkansas. This is an exciting time in our energy history, with incredible progress being made in renewable energy and storage technologies. As our energy portfolio continues to diversify, we'll maintain an all-the-above strategy to provide reliable and affordable electricity. Ever since the first light bulbs were placed in our members' homes, the electric cooperatives have been the solutions provider for our members, and we want to continue that well into the future. Each day, the promise of our nation begins again. Arkansas and America moving forward. I help make that promise a reality It's not for everyone, but people everywhere depend on us. Trucking delivers or everything stops. And that's what drives me. And welcome back. We are now joined by Sherman Tate, CEO of Tate & Associates, among many other hats that he wears. He is also the, one of the newest inductees in the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame. I was there Friday night. Congratulations once again. Thank you. I'm proud Thank for you. you. Thank you very much. It was a proud moment for myself and my family. I know it was. And uh, you did a fantastic job sharing all that. I wanted other folks that weren't there to hear a little bit more about your story there. You had a, a, have had a storied career at Arcla, at Altel, as an entrepreneur. What, tell me about your first big break. It kind of came in state government, didn't it, in terms of introduction to folks? It did. Tell me it, how you, you kind of got that first big aha moment there. Well, actually, the first big aha moment came when Mr. Marcus Halbrook called me and gave me an opportunity to go to work for the Bureau of Legislative Research. What were you doing at the time when he called you? I was a personnel analyst in the Office of Personnel Management. Okay. And uh, as such, I ended up having to make presentations to the Personnel Committee (laughs) of the Legislative Council. And in those days, that was a powerful committee. Yeah. And uh, I subsequently found out that John Miller and Bob Harvey and A few others had recommended me to Mr. Halbrook, and he called me. And I went to work there. The rest is history. The rest is history, yes. And you grew up in Marvel, Arkansas. Your uh, family worked some of the farm fields over there, which is, I'm sure you did a lot of that in your childhood. Uh, Absolutely. That was motivation for you to not want to go back to Marvel and be a farmer. What, when you went off to college, what did you think you might do from a career standpoint? Well, actually, uh, working on the farm in and of itself wasn't bad, but my mother promoted education. And as such, she uh, motivated me and encouraged me to uh, believe and understand that I could do better. 
And uh, she led that charge because she had taught me how to read, write, and I knew my multiplication tables before I set foot in the first grade. <laughs> so she was serious about it. All right, six times seven, what is it real quick? <laughs> oh, 42, all right, I was just testing you there. Uh, you're part of an elite club now in this business hall of fame, and it was a great class you got inducted with there. Do we need to worry about this going to your head, Sherman? Not in the least, Yeah. because that's a valuable lesson that my daddy taught me, and that was to always be humble, and uh, never walk around, you know, and get body parts up on your shoulder and thinking you're <laughs> more important than you are. And, uh, and I never forgot that. Yep. That made sense to me, and the older I get, it certainly makes sense. Tell me what it was like that night on the stage on Friday night with uh, your peers there and all your friends and family, former workers in the audience there. It was, Roby, it was exhilarating, it was exciting. And it took a moment for it to soak in, because as I said in my comments, I knew I had been nominated. Being nominated is one thing, but the reality of being selected to be inducted is a totally different thing. And uh, it was exhilarating because I'm totally aware of the very distinguished group that I joined, and I knew most of them. Uh, in fact, I might know all of them, including Mr. Sam Walton. Well, you've made that list more distinguished now, and I wish you the best, and thank you, and congratulations to you. You're very kind. All I right. appreciate Thanks that. Thanks for coming in. The Arkansas yeah. Business Hall of Fame, one of the newest inductees, Sherman Tate. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And we're back with more right after this. Circuits turn on the lights by making a connection, by closing the loop. At Entergy, we believe our economy is circular, too. What you put in comes back. So we invest billions in new infrastructure, which helps attract new industry, which helps create new jobs. We partner with local communities to electrify the economy. And together, we power life. Energy. When was the last time you felt free? It's time to uncover that feeling again with the compassion of a cross and shield, accepted by over 90% of doctors and specialists, and the power of a card that opens doors in all 50 states, giving you the freedom to love, to dream, to dance, like no one is watching. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. Well, this past week at the state capitol, lawmakers celebrated 100 years of women having the right to vote. Let's go inside the numbers for a look at the data behind the progress. Inside the Numbers is brought to you by the Arkansas State Chamber of Commerce and Associated Industries of Arkansas. In 1917, the Arkansas legislature passed a law allowing women to vote in primary elections. And two years later, the natural state became the 12th state in the union and the first southern state to ratify the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. For the record today, women account for about 52 to 53 percent of overall turnout. However, the percentage of women voters isn't balanced with the percentage of female lawmakers. In Arkansas, this session of the 135 representatives and senators, only 25 are female, and that is about 19 percent. And turning to business, about 29 percent of all businesses in the U.S. are women-owned. And in the labor pool, about 47% of the workforce is female. That's according to the U.S. Census Bureau and the U.S. Department of Labor. Now, data like this can be found in stories each and every day on our website at talkbusiness.net. That's all for today's Talk Business and Politics Daily. I'm Roby Brock. We'll see you next time.